Hi, today we're going to answer the question, do animals have souls? Hi everybody, Lisa Larson here, animal communicator and psychic medium. And today we're going to answer the question, do animals have souls? And in short, the answer is, of course they do. <laughs> so, I will never be one to say that my opinion or my belief system is the be-all, end-all, uh, but having done the work that I've done, this is what I believe. And, you know, I was first confronted with this question when I was studying mediumship at a spiritualist church. And there was a woman there who claimed, oh, that's my cat jumping up to get the wind chimes. Sorry about that. You okay, baby? <laughs> um, I was at a spiritualist church taking lessons and lecture, listening to the lectures. And there was a woman there who claimed to be, she called herself a reformed Catholic. And as she gave the lecture, she talked about that, well, she stated that animals do not have souls and they can't tell time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, they do and they can. Now, any of you who have animals and who feed them at a specific time, you know that they can tell time. Any of you who have animals who know when you're coming home, wait for you five minutes before you walk in the door, even though they don't know you're on your way, they know, you know they, they tell time. So we're not going to cover that today, but we are going to cover do they have souls. And as I say, I hadn't really thought about this because to me, it wasn't ever even a question. You know, I've loved animals all my life. I hadn't, at that point, I hadn't even really thought that far as to do they have souls because it was never a question for me. But what I started thinking about when she said this were, of course, all of the reasons that, that I felt she was wrong. And I hadn't even been doing this work by that time for very long, maybe a few years and not professionally at that point. And what I came up with is, back then, is the idea that humans, we work so hard at being able to, you know, connect with whatever our idea of God or source of the universe is. You know, we sit there and we take lessons and we do meditation. We go, oh, i am got to connect with God. Oh, i got to connect with God. Oh, did I buy the potatoes for dinner? Yeah. Oh, 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 i got to connect with God. You know, we have to work really, really hard at that. But if you ever watch an animal they don't have to do that. It's not that they don't carry all of the pain and the fears and the, the trauma that they've experienced or the joy and the love that they experience. But if you've ever watched them just sit in front of a window and watch the world, you understand that they are in a meditative state. They are in a, a presence. I call it, um, to me, that is something called fourth level reality. I, I am a, an alakai, an ordained alakai in the Huna tradition, which is a Hawaiian philosophy. And it's, it's something called fourth level reality where everything is connected, where you are connected completely with everything that's around you. And it's hard to say that animals aren't there. Now, this is something, like I say, this is something that I had thought about before I even started working with animals and speaking with animals and spirit is my specialty. So <laughs> then, then there was, a, you know, since I started working with animals and talking to animals and spirit, then of course, there's a whole nother aspect of that of why I believe they have souls. But the other thing is that doing the work that I do, since I've been doing the work that I do, what I've also come to believe is that animals are just on so much higher spiritual plane than we are. Like I say, back then I maybe didn't think about it as much until I really started doing this work seriously. But, you know, 
people who believe in reincarnation, a lot of times they do, they believe, as I did at one point, that you have to be an animal reincarnated before you come back as a human. But I no longer believe that. Having talked to animals on the other side, talking to humans on the other side, because on the other side, there is no species. There is no age, there's no gender, there's no species. It's just energy over there. And having talked to them, having, having, do, having done the work that I've done, it seems to me that animals are in such a higher spiritual plane than we are that I believe that we have to become a human in, a, in an incarnation before we become an animal. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I know that there's a lot of religious <laughs> thoughts that disagree with me. Um, but this is my belief system. And when people ask me, given my experience, what I believe, this is why I believe what I believe. Animals, you know, if you think about what animals mean to you and how close they are to you, how can they not have a soul? How can you feel what you feel with them and not have a soul? Now, there's a lot of humans where I feel like they're pretty soulless, more so even recently, but um, animals, no. And so if you feel that an animal is your soulmate, if you feel an animal is your twin soul, there's no reason not to believe that. I mean, because like I say, when we go over on the other side, we're just energy. And when I connect with them on the other side, it's just I'm connecting with, with whatever physical body the person I'm reading for will recognize. And that's how they come through. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, animals have souls. And it's, it's evident when we look at them, when we live with them when we let their soul touch ours. So I know this is a short video, but I know that was a question that a lot of people have and I wanted to answer it. So thank you for joining me. Please, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you are interested in the things that I'm doing here, it would be really, really helpful if you would hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get up to 2000. I know I'm just like a baby, baby, baby YouTuber, but um, I'm trying to get up to 2000 now. So if you could hit that subscribe, or if you know anybody that might be interested in this channel, please let them know. And of course, go ahead and hit the bell if you want to be notified of other videos and please comment down below comment about this and and let me know about other questions that you might have that that uh maybe i can answer for you um you can find me at pausetalk.net you can find my book pause talking a course in communicating with animals at amazon and apple books and i really appreciate you guys being here and i will look forward to seeing you again soon thanks a lot guys take care bye bye <laughs>